In this video, I'll show you how to create a menu bar and also how to link that menu bar to another part of your website. So the first thing you want to do is you type in Glitch and navigate to Glitch. Select a new project. Hello web page. And wait a little while as the page loads. Okay, and finally we've got our page working. Now remember the page you do your editing is index.html. And then we can do a search for W3 Schools and Navigation Menu. This will give you some code which will help you make a navigation bar on your website. And all we actually need for now is just this text. And we can actually paste it probably inside the body where it says hi there. We'll paste it there. Okay. And then we can show next to the code. And we'll wait a little while and you can see already we've got a little menu bar here. Now. The next thing you should do is go back to Glitch and you're going to make a second page in your website. And we're going to link this second page using Home so that you can navigate between your pages. We choose New Project. Now notice the name. This one's called Something Venom. And our new project over here is called Something Honesty, just to confirm that they actually are different pages. Then, we go to the index once again, and we might edit the text just a little bit, so we'll show it in preview, and we'll just change a little bit here. Instead of high there, it works, so that we can tell if our link has successfully connected between this page and our menu, we'll see it works. Okay, next thing we need to do is we go to share, and we choose the live app. This is going to be the address of this web page. Then we go back here and we paste that address inside the commas. Finally, we might change this. So we'll say, we've changed the text. You can see it's changing now. Link to other page. There you go. So we've changed the text. And finally, we want to check the site is actually working. So to do that, we will go share and we'll go to live app and we'll take this URL and paste it in a fresh window. And then finally, to check it's working, we simply click on that. And then it should take us to the other page, and you can see it does work. So, you can see it's quite easy to actually make a navigation bar and link it between your pages. And you could actually use this one, this one, and this one, and link four separate pages together in one site. I hope that helps.